kwa sababu niko na wasichana 80 wenye wako na mimba mimi mwenyewe sina mimba but niko na wasichana 80 wenye wako na mimba wenye wametuko nje na wazazi wametuko nje na kila mtu na wanatukuje tuwasaidie habari zenu naitwa Angelica Biru nimetoka kwa shirika linajiita Teenage Moms Empowerment tuko na wasichana 80 wenye wako na mimba ama wako na watoto sisi wote tumewaachilia. Si nimekuja nikaokota pesa mkanipea pesa. Si ni kweli? Hakuna mmoja aliongea kabla tupate ni nichukue pesa. Tumeongea baada. Kila samsi anakipata mimba ndio tunapata sauti ya kuongea. Lakini kabla apate mimba hakuna sauti tunaongea. Sawa sawa. Mama asante sana. Asante sana. Nawashukuru sana. So, tumekuja ku create awareness. Ju tunasikia tumechoka. Tunajua kwa grounds watu wa our own story. In the last five years, tuko na wasichana 2 million in Kenya wame drop shule juu ya mimba. 2 million. Hii mwaka, tuko na 741 wenye wanakali exam na mimba. Yes, I'm going to class at the class yet, which I've got na wasichana 8. Wenye tunatekea. Wame tuko na wazazi, wame tuko na baada ya kutumefaile. So, na washukuru sana abiria. Kwa kupatisipeta, kwa kumurumia, kwa mwasanti, kwa kumikikania.
Sasa mtoto amekuwa accompanied by mzazi. Unaona? Mm. Unauliza mzazi, "Ai, ni 14 years and 14 years. Unashindwa hata ukimpeleka reward, utaatakaje?" Inabidi tu mnasainire nini anaenda operation. Sasa huyo mtoto anabeba mtoto mwingine. Uh, I'm not talking on a personal level. Kanire kukuwa na urafiki na mtu unamuliza wewe umemaliza shule. Na sasa unanitaka kwa nini juu upendo ni natural. It, it's a love is natural from. But sasa tunapendana na huyu ananiambia ananiabiria heaven. Kastana ka, ka, ka grade 6 ukikaabiria heaven. Heaven yake ni tipo na na nini? Asanteni. Muneza watch your video kwa Anjeri Kabiru in two days. Tutakuwa live hapo. YouTube. Yes. Na mshia share share this information. Don't just share the content, share the information. Asanteni. Uh, hi guys. Uh, we just got to play it. My emotions were everywhere. I was just so bitter about like what had happened and the comments the conductor was making and feeling so sorry for this girl. Yeah. And then um so I'm really happy ni menyamaza here, but I'm really happy that there are some people making noise. I'm like, yeah, only to find out they were also part of this. But I really hope this trends and it reaches as many people as possible so that it's known um nationwide and action is taken against this matter because it's it's real. Yeah. yeah. So the campaign you think the campaign was it's on point. It should it should be done throughout the everywhere in the country. Yeah. yeah. You guys are just doing a great job. Yeah. Doing a, yeah, you're doing a great job. And thanks for even telling us. Like some of us are just ignorant. We think things are happening out there. And we can motivate us on you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kamau wa baba, baba, baba yangu wa naitua Irongo. <laughs> uh, mimi ni mzari wa Muranga huko. Mm. Lakini saa hii niko hapa na rombi. Kwa suguli za kikazi. Nafanya na kampuni inaitua Zuri Genesis Company. Nimeskuru sana siku ya leo. Kwa vile nimepata haa watu wanahamashisha watu. Kuhusu mambo ya teenage pregnancy. Hili jambo hata kama mimi nufanya kazi wa Zuri. Nimerichukuria likiwa jambo rakipeke sana. Kwa sababu hata mimi penye nimetoka kuna dada yangu mmoja wawili ambao wamepata mimba wakakosa kumaliza shule. Sasa hili jambo nimelichukulia nikaona ni jambo la maana sana na mimi nikeomba vile ambavyo umefanya hapa kwetu zuri muende kwa gari zote, muende makanisani, muende hata vijijini ndani na hata huko kwa villages ndani na kule kwa slums muweze kuwapea hawa watu ripoti kwa sababu wakati mtoto anapopata mimba kuna mambo kadha wa kadha happen ya bora kwanza katika kupata mimba anaweza pata ugojwa pia anapata mimba na kuna wenye wanashidwa hata kulea ule mtoto afike kuzaliwa anafariki na pia hata mtoto anafariki na kama atapata nafasi ya kukua unapata ya kuwa yule mtoto ni mtoto abaye amebeba mtoto kwa hivyo hiyo tunaona ule mtoto amekosa masomo Maisha yake vile France alikuwa nazo za maisha zimeisha na pia hata unakupata mtu mwingine ameachiriwa ule mwenye mimba amekataa mimba. Sasa unapata ule mtoto shi, anapata shida kuanzia pale mpaka maisha yake atakapofariki. Kwa hivyo mimi naona ni jambo la kipekee sana ambao mnafanya na ningewaomba vile ambavyo umeanza hili jambo lisikome liendele. Na kwa wananchi wote ni vizuri kuchukulia hili jambo tukichukue kwa sababu mtoto mwenye amepata mimba sio wako jua ule mtoto kama atapata mimba hata yuko na mahali utaguzwa na kama atakosa kupata mimba tutapata mtu wa kipekee katika nchi na maisha ya watoto wetu yatakaa vizuri na tutakuwa na future generation lakini wakipata mimba tunakosa kesho yetu tunakosa future generation na nchi inakaa o ikiwa na, na umaskini sababu watu wamepata mimba wamekosa kuendelea na masomo maoni yao katika maisha haijafikiana mimi kwa hayo ndio niko nayo kwa leo lakini Mungu awabariki sana Amen. na hii campaign iendelee kabisa mm. mimi naitwa Kamau nafanya na Zuri Genesis Company Asante what was your unique moment juu umefanya watu wakakasirika kwa gari <laughs> my unique moment i think ilikuwa ile wakati ambapo nilisikia the guy ambaye we were saying that alimpregnate mm. 
aki as in aki justify how good it is mm -hmm. so uh, as in yondi ile kwanga inanishtua sana as in the society imembrace this thing na imekubali as in teenage pregnancy ni kitu normal mm -hmm. uh, but uh, eh, ile kitu tunaweza sema allow me just for need to talk to a male child mm -hmm. kwa sababu this thing haifanyiki na dem na dem mm -hmm. ni sisi kama maboy and you tuna play part in this and therefore i would just I like to speak to my fellow young men mm -hmm. at least let us respect these ladies they are our sisters mm -hmm. to our respect mm -hmm. na pia uh, value yao at least si ati ni watu tu sex object mm -hmm. these are very important people in the society na the moment pia tutafanya such things at least tujue pia kuna future na haribu mahali mm -hmm. so to me a uh, message will go to all the young people all the men in the society let us embrace our sisters and embrace this thing so thank you so much for the good work that you are doing in the we society. are doing this is oh, okay. yeah yeah, yeah the good work that we are doing mm -hmm. let's keep on doing it yes. yeah we talk all the way from gong yes. thank you thank and you for coming and gong and it's, and it's our first time to meet so yes, it's, it's our first time, time to meet. meet apart from online yes We are the people who are championing zero tolerance to teenage pregnancy. Mm. By the way, let us not normalize teenage pregnancy. Mm. Na kumka tukwa kwa mat, nimeambia huyo mother alikuwa next to me that nilipata mtoi nikiwa shule. Mm. And she was like, "Na venye uko mdogo, hiyo wakati ilikuwa aje." And uh, like it's time we start speaking about this. Na pia community i embrace like said it tunanyamazia vitu alafu kitu iki happen tusianze ku blame huyu dem mm -hmm. so if wazazi pia wanaanza na kuongea na watu wao mm -hmm. cuz like for me what has really stood out ni huyo madam ameniambia jako na mtu yako 12 years atazidi kumuongelesha mm -hmm. ndio pia yeye asinge hapo so una think he make to make create some impact to make create some impact jo hata kama ni tuta save huyo mtu wa huyo madam mmoja <laughs> it will really make an impact mm -hmm. Teenage pregnancy sipo adema kipata ball maisha yake imesha hapo haezi maliza na shule so as a community let us make this end na pia tukumbuke pia madem pia wanapata aids wakipata ball mm. thank you good job you doing we it's we us. are doing, we are doing. <laughs> siku yako imekuwaje mimi siku yangu imekuwa poa nime enjoy i i hope nini hiyo teenage mom sida it reduce juu yenyewe tumechoka hata sisi kuzalisha zalisha tukiwa wadogo <laughs> Twenye tunapenda tusome but watu wao tulemea tena. Eh hivyo tu. Experience. Mimi nime experience ilikuwa poa at least ni kwako engage na watu wengine kusikia comments zao. Strangers. Strangers kusikia comments zao kuhusu teenage pregnancy kama gani? Kama baje na affect oh eh unaona watu wengi hawa ni wako hard wakiona mtoto wa shule akiwa na ball. So ni poa kunini ku create awareness by to create na nime enjoy nime enjoy mama yako ilikuwaje mimi nimefurahia awareness ya leo mm. imekuwa poa nimeka kwanza na mama mwenye alikuwa amejam sana na hii story juu wenyewe hiyo story me heart juu wenyewe ni madam wetu ndo anapata ball unaona mm. alafu ni wa young young so nataka tu kitu ye, ye, ni trend yani yani watu wasipate ball venye wanapata ball sasa hii rate ya madam wadogo kupata ball ni juu sana asipoa kwa 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 ili kwa poa venye baba alikuwa na kasirika mok ni kwa mama ile kwa poa so mnaona ni kitu tunafaa tufanye tena na tena zaidi ya tena haya mgeni wa mgeni watazamaji kwa heri bye bye so we are back from town the experience was extraordinary uh, one thing i have learned about our society they are so ready to embrace this information they are they are just lacking um they're lacking information one and two they're lacking the voice we need more voices to come up talking about teenage pregnancy so that our society can change so during the scenario in the matatu when i started asking people for the for the transport they wanted no one spoke no one spoke but after i collected the money that's when people started gathering uh, energy to speak and talk about their views i should not be pregnant i should be i should i should not i should be in school things like that and the lesson learned out of this uh, matatu ride was people talk after it is done after the whole experience is done that's when people talk but before it's done no one talks about it that was the whole experience so the other feedback we got from people is that we should do this more in more places more often this voice needs to be louder and out of this i am so sure we will not normalize teenage pregnancy we will bring it to an end so thank you so much hashtag today was let us not normalize teenage pregnancy thank you so much 
And don't forget to check out our website www.teenagemomsempowerment.org. Till the next time, see you. Bye. Thank you for watching.